Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. All right. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. I'm here on my range that we affectionately call the Hacienda. And uh, we're going to do some some fun shooting today. We're going to do bullpup from IWI called the Tab 12. We're going to get all up in that right now. So just join me here on this journey. And uh, some dudes who typically do stuff with me. Someone's getting way ahead of what the video is supposed to be about over there. Um, Some of those are hefty. It's got a 12 gauge semi auto. Hot damn. Patrick, babyface, has a 12 gauge. So, there you go. So, these, these, these two things are kind of alike. Uh, one is a clone ish of the other. Kind of like. No, no, no. You this know? one, this one's a blowback, right? Oh. This one's piston driven. This is a blowback. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, so, this is the Benelli M4. It, it, it has a gas. Oh, it has a gas? Yeah, it does inside there, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So what is this, Walt? Black Aces Tactical Pro Series X Max. S Max. They're made in Turkey. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the stuff you're seeing uh, being imported. I'm very impressed with it. I but saw. I, like, I saw. Some, yeah, the looks. It looks nice. It looks they good. Do, I like finishes. the finishes. It's yeah. really pretty. They never. Yeah. They do another good. version of this wood stock, which is just like painted black. Mm -hmm. uh, I had the opportunity to get the purdy one, so I picked the purdy one. Oh mm -hmm. no! Yeah, painted black versus purdy. I want purdy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this is cool. And uh, where's this? Is did this come with it? Oh no, this is PPS 43 slip. That's what I was thinking. This is low do I mean, I paid 249 from. Uh, who it was. I think Palmetto State Armory ordered this from, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, after that, the price went back up for a little while because they got real popular. 704 Tactical did a review on these, and I uh, watched it. Shout out to those guys. It's yeah. a, I haven't shot it yet, but I'm impressed so far. Like, I'm very impressed with how it looks for that price. Because, um, yeah. mind you, this is... How many of these can you get for this? You said 250 So the M4 yeah. is about get, what? Like, what is it? Minimum, minimum fifteen hundred. Most of the time, sixteen to eighteen. Okay. You can get about six of these for the price of this. Oh, by the way, the Turks make a. I know. I want to see that. One yeah. of them came into the shop. A guy bought one, and he says, "I, I can't. I don't know what's going on. This is not working right." And he, somehow, the whole recoil system was all. Somebody tried to take it apart, put it back together. And what he was doing. I, we, and I didn't know what I was doing to begin with, but I figured it out in the yeah, end, and we got not, it back together. You yeah, got to so. put the piston rods in. So listen, here's what we I really want to do. I don't mind you guys shooting this. You can absolutely do it. But that gun behind you is what I want to shoot. You I've already shot it. Yes, I know. I've already shot Not it. Not just today. here. I have yeah. a video on it. <laughs> babyface. YouTube.com slash babyface P if you want to see this shot right now. Yes. Pause. Pause this video and go watch mine. Right. And then come back. <laughs> um, so here we go. That is the IWI Tab 12, uh, that, which was actually sent to us by very, 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 very impressed with this. I did not think I would like it when it came in. It's weird, but I was very impressed. And I'm going to find out what I think about it because I didn't even get a chance to shoot it. But big thanks to Brownells for um, sending us this. I appreciate that. They don't tell us what to say or what to think about guns, so I appreciate all that stuff. We're going to get into it. We're going to load this up right now and shoot it for you guys. So stay right there. Out of this bucket, whatever we have in there, I think we have a bunch of different stuff, right? This here. bucket has been in the cottage for almost oh, two yes. years. Yeah, probably so, more. So this is dirt, cheap, federal birdshot. Yeah, like low, Walmart low brass, stuff. Walmart stuff. Yeah, super cool here though. So this has multiple. So the, the like it's got three tubes mm -hmm. on it, and each tube holds about what? Five. Five? Okay. So it's 15 plus one. Okay. So you can go one, and it goes in. Mm -hmm. and then you so we're hot. Load. We're technically hot. Yeah. And you go one, and the spring is very easy. Two. Yeah. I think you can actually use that button to, to spit them back out if you want. Right? Or you push here, and they'll come back out. They'll all spit Yeah, out. hit that button, and they'll pew. Sweet. Five. Just like that. Yeah. You have five in this tube, one in the chamber. Okay. So when you pick it up with the EOTech on top, 
Uh-huh. Not listening. Yeah. We we'll got your EOTech on this one, Walt. <laughs> there we go. Really? At some point, Walt will figure it out. I grabbed it. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> so you ready? So, yeah. when you pull the trigger, it's going to empty the, uh, we only have one round, so it should, it should stop. Okay. Boom. There you go. And we're empty. Mm -hmm. Now, you push forward on this little dingus down here with your finger. Push forward and rotate. It and it loads one in. Cool. And then you got five more. And we're locked open. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Let me try it here. You can. We can switch. And I'll load some. Trade out. Load some up. So we'll just go with the cheap stuff. So when you were doing this, did you have any problems with the cheap stuff? No. Cheap stuff were great. Okay. I had a problem when I switched it over from low brass to high brass. Uh -huh. The ammo I was putting in it was still low brass. It wasn't high brass. So it gave a little fun. It got a little finicky. Right. Hit the button. So this one. Yep. There you go. That's loaded. And then five. And then in just there. push these in. Can you can you like push in more than one at a time? Does that probably yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Not if you're Hank Strange, but <laughs> oh, actually you there could. You go. Yeah, there you go. So I don't that think... should be five, right? Yeah, it should be. I don't think it would take another nope. one. There you go. So now, now, now you would push that and rotate. So I push and just rotate from. Yep. Over, over to the next one. Now okay, you there can we load go. Five more. Then load. Yeah, let me get some more ammo. Bring some more up here. Okay. So one more. That should be fine. Okay, now and you then push and rotate. Rotate. Now you need five more. So it empty. Make sure it clicks in place. Don't. Once you press it, let go of your finger, and it okay. clicks in. Okay. You're so, good. You're clicked. Yeah, but it didn't. I need to rotate it to an empty. There we go. There it is. Okay. All right. One. I want to see what this actually feels like weight-wise. It's going to be heavy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is about this? So when you first see the pictures or video with other people, even when I looked at your video, it looked like, wow, that's probably big and bulky. But when you actually handle it, it doesn't feel like that. So, um, All right, so we should be ready to go. We're on. It's got like cross bolt safety. It's on fire right now. All right, let's go for this, see how it is. We go so push that yep. forward go to the next one loads the load. okay go to the wait yep. hold on no nope, you only put four in the last tube i think no i got something jammed see that uh, i can't see it from here oh pull back on the charging handle it's on the yeah. left side let it go there you go here we go all right now all right now and you can rotate in any direction right yep there you go. Oh, you know why it didn't load? Same thing. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Let's see. All right, now. There we go. Seems like that's it. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's heavy. And the recoil is pretty nice. Yeah. Walt, you want to shoot this? Sure. Come on over. Come on. Yeah, here. No, nope, you need uh, over here. Do you need us to show you how? Uh... Now I know Walt. You're not a super fan of bull pups, right? You're making here. assumptions. Is it, is it fair to say you're a bull pup hater? Uh, it's fair to say you're making assumptions. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. I am a equal opportunity ammunition and a firearms shooter of all shootable things. Yes. If it goes boom, 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 I like it. Well, at least a little bit. So now, push this so thing. So push and rotate. I gotta load some more in here. There you go, and then. So you should be able to get a good like 15, 16, if you're doing. There you go. I actually pay attention when I watch videos. <laughs> <laughs> As Babyface says, he has a video on this. 
Uh, Military Arms Channel also has a really cool video. Don't go to one. his. No, go to mine. Yeah. Don't go to his. Watch Babyface P first. Yep. All right. So I should be go. good to go. Ooh, I am good to go. Left. I'm gonna be. I'm a lefty. So am I gonna get oh, you're this a in lefty? my face? Uh -oh. oh, so okay. So for anybody watching, before Walter pulls the trigger. If we had done this earlier, you can change it to left side firing. Okay, so I'll go uh, right. But we didn't do that. We didn't do it. Okay, so but maybe, it is possible. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? Luckily, he's ambidextrous. Yeah, he goes I both can, ways. Look at my EOTech. That thing is beautiful. <laughs> I don't think. Was that, was that 15 rounds already? That's 15. Okay, what do you think? That's cool. <laughs> That's it. That's cool. I mean, obviously, after 15 rounds of 12 gauge, I got a kind of blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But um, yeah. yeah, no, it, it functioned just as as, as uh, described. Yeah, and easy it, to use. Once, And I had never shot it before, never touched it, but you saw I didn't have any problem making it all work and loading yeah. it. Yeah. I just watched some other people have problems and monkey with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, get yeah. in there, get in there, Patrick. Uh, we'll do the wrap up and everything on this now. So uh, tips, like you shot this first before. I think I was out of town. Let me hold you real quick. Um, Let me hold you real quick. Yeah. So any tips on this you've seen since then, or uh, what I learned? What How I learned we myself. It actually, since we were talking about that. Yeah. So if you want to switch the selectors up here, mm -hmm. on this side it's low and high, um, and then on this side it's obviously opposite, oh, high and low. Okay. Um, when they say high brass, the manual specifies three and uh, uh, three inch magnums. Okay. So if you're shooting two and three quarter, keep it on low, even if it's high brass, two and three quarter. When you switch over to either low brass or high brass, three inch mags, then you pop it over to H. And you all might be wondering, well, how do I do that? I need a stick to put in there. Ooh, watch this. <laughs> see, see this here, charging handle? Uh-huh. Pulls right out. Like magic. Goes in, uh, and you're now on high. Now you're back on low. Oh, and you're done. A little finagling. So, It'll go right back in there. This is the worst part, trying to get this finagle. There it is. Right back in. And get it in. Okay, and then how easy is it to switch everything? Or is that like... I haven't done that yet. So oh, we okay. will try that later. So it is doable. It is it's doable. doable. You, you can do switch it, it over to uh, the opposite feed. So it'll feed... Well the opposite uh, eject. It'll eject, so it'll eject from left side. Yeah. So what do you think about this, Walt? Is this based on some old gun that was... Also for Walter. Yeah. You can load it from the left side. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's both. It's yeah. truly ambidextrous. So really, if you wanted to, while you were doing stuff, if you had like other 12 gauge on you, you could pop it, you could pop in there and have that. So you could kind of keep it going. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't. You got the if you need to get more than 15 plus <laughs> one rounds of buckshot yeah. or something, you are in some deep. What if you're like three gunning? <laughs> but what's nice about it, you could have one, two, you, you could switch the tubes up. Yeah, yeah. you could have uh, one with buckshot, maybe one with something yeah. else you need, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I get why they do what they do. Maybe they have uh, Bur uh, beam bags. tear gas rounds. There's Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So is there an older gun that had this kind of tube system on it? What was it, the Utahs? No, no, I don't think this is nothing like a Utah. No. There was one that had the rotating handle. Did that's the Utahs the, have that? That's another remember. one that never hits the market. Yeah. Yeah. You never see them. Yeah. And I, I, I shot a Utah. They're turdies. They, I they're turdies. Yeah, I don't remember it having something like that. I can't remember if it did or it didn't. I'll have um, to look it up. Everybody in the, in the video right now is yelling. Yeah. I have to agree it doesn't feel as bulky as it looks. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, once you get it in your paws, I have to say that. Mm -hmm. it, 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 just a picture of it, there's like, oh, that thing is huge. Mm -hmm. But really, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, obviously, you've got to have places to do all this stuff, so it's mm -hmm. going to take room. So Yeah, what's the price on these typically? Like, uh, 15? Is that what they're going for? 12, 1300. Well, 12, 13? Uh, a little bit I'm not more, talking retail, what I've seen. Yeah, wholesale, yeah. But yeah. Maybe 17. Uh, they're typically okay, they're like up also, there. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey, um, as IWI tends to be. I think, uh, you know, I, IWI is a little bit higher quality. I have a bunch of IWI stuff. Um, so I, I can see, like, typically what you would get out of IWI in here um, and there's a lot of mod modularity I know you could take this off it's got QD on it yep 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 um, I think so, you can extend the back plate yeah I think you, they have extensions where you can make it longer for length mm -hmm. of pull um, it would be cool if you could swap these out and have loaded ones but I guess that would be a neat concept I yeah. think it would make the price even higher Probably. because you would have okay. to have a whole module where it would fit yeah. in 
but as it sits, I can't believe I'm gonna say it. I like it. I yes. actually like it. It oh. would complicate the magazine. Oh extremely. yes, yeah. this yeah. mag would cost 250 bucks a mag. Okay. If you had it all. Yeah. <laughs> Come on over here, Walt. Let's wrap this up. I don't know all where right, you're going. All right, all right. All right, so cool. Let's do this. We're going to wrap it up here. So, Babyface P. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Babyface P. That's right. Walt, what you uh, got? Safety Air Firearms on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, StenParts.com also. Absolutely. Today is January 1st that we're doing all these videos here, uh, 2022. Mm -hmm. So, Happy New Year to everyone. I have no clue when this is going to go up. <laughs> yeah. This could be going up January 2023 for all I know. Um, <laughs> but if you want to see all three of us on the podcast that we do called Who Moved My Freedom, you can actually join us live. We do it from Utreon first, U-T-R-E-O-N. Um, go over there. It's a completely different platform. They let us handle this stuff. Monday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern. Yes. So we do free for all Monday. We do it like Monday to Friday typically, but we could actually handle guns like that and get all gangsta up in there, and then we put it up on YouTube later. So that's how we that do thing, that. Well, you're blocking me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks to these guys for doing this. We're out of here. We'll see you guys. Peace. Big shout out to Brownells. Happy New Year. Make sure to check out handstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.